My name is Arma Ohanus Bichi. I was born in Bichi local government of Kono State in the year 1969. Then I attended my primary and secondary education in Bichi up to the year 1982, where I get admission in San Secondary School Do I Can Kudu, also in Kano. So I finished San Secondary School Do I Can Kudu in the year 1985, and that year I got admission also into Bayer University Kano. And I've been in Bayer University Kano up to the year 1993, when I finished my MSc in Fisheries. Then I started my PhD degree also there. Immediately after I finished my MSc, I was employed as an assistant lecturer and I started lecturing in BUK. There I finished my PhD in the year 2000 and in the rose through the rank in the year 2010, I was appointed as professor of fisheries. Then and I continue lecturing there. When the then president of the country, that is President Goodluck Jonathan, established two, 12 new universities so as to increase access and equity in terms of university education. A federal university does a mouse among the 12. I was invited to come and start a work here so that we can build up the university. So I came to Federal University of Dusama in the year 2012 and since that time up to now I have been here. After my coming I was appointed Head of Department of Fisheries and Dean Faculty of Agriculture and Agricultural Technology. Later I was also appointed and a new Dean will be appointed. I continue that for the hearing until in 2016 when I was and uh, in the year 2017, I was appointed acting vice chancellor for the I hold for two years before another acting vice chancellor was appointed. And then this year, I was appointed as a subjective vice chancellor of Peru University Dues Amma by Mr. President. Mm -hmm. Okay, when I was appointed as the acting vice chancellor, in the year 2017, in May, precisely. Then in June, July, we are supposed to have accreditation. In the 23 programs we have in the university at that time, only three has full accreditation. The other 20 has interim accreditation, and the real accreditation is coming that year, which means if we got the accreditation, we will continue running the courses. And if we fail, the university has to lose that course and the student will be transferred to other universities. So it's a daunting challenge. We came, we meet, we sat down and look at the issue at hand, the challenges, and we start talk and start preparing. God so kind, we make an appeal to the management of the National University Commission and we have a listening ES in person of Professor Rashid. He helped us, assisted us, and shipped the accreditation to November so that we can prepare well, knowing that I take over in a turbulent manner when there is crisis in the university. So that time we will prepare well and wait for the accreditation. And when the accreditation took place in November, all the 20 courses or programs got full accreditation. So it's a big a opportunity for us, and it's a big pleasure for us that we have that accreditation which means our student can continue staying in the university. And uh, since we have full accreditation, now we start thinking of opening a PG school, which we did successfully the following year. Okay, uh, first I thank God when this appointment came, and I thank Mr. President and the Minister, and other, any other person that assisted for me to become the Vice Chancellor. When I came, I sat down and called my colleagues. We talk and discuss on the prospect of the university in the next five years. What are the challenges? What are we going to focus? We look at the lockdown. Nobody expected the lockdown, but it came. So if you have a problem from that problem, you can solve many other problems. The lockdown, nobody expected it, and it came. 
when it came it affected the education sector as well as other sectors so now the challenge we found out that the ICT component of teaching must be taken seriously if you are cumbersome with the ICT the student can continue learning even when at home in other developed countries so that the lockdown but lectures never stop they continue lectures until when they ease down the lockdown so my plan in the next five years is all our educational system in this university must focus on uh, ICT.